हे गाइज वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड गाइज दिस इज थर्ड वीडियो इन दिस सीरीज दैट इज अजूर लर्निंग एज एड नाइन हंड्रेड एंड गाइज इन दिस वीडियो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट यू नो वॉट आर दट आर सम क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग एडवांटेजेस एंड वॉट आर क्लाउड सर्विस मॉडल्स ओके सो एज आई टोल्ड यू इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज आई विल बी टेकिंग यू थ्रू वन बाय वन वीडियोज and uh, in this we are going to learn couple of things and uh, we will be talking about you know couple of things like uh, what is infrastructure as a service platform as a service and software as a service that is also known as is as and sas so we will see all those things one by one here and uh, first of all we will see here what are the advantages okay what are the benefits what are the good thing about cloud computing what are some cloud computing advantage advantages so guys there are several benefit benefits that a cloud environment has over a physical environment so cloud computing is nothing but i told you in my previous video also it is a computing service over internet okay so it has uh, lots of benefits as compared to physical physical is what Uh, this is what uh, this is my office okay and here i have my complete infra that is known as physical infra and this is my cloud okay so this is cloud computing and this is physical so it has lots of benefits for example if we say here reliability reliability is one of the uh, you know one of the best uh, advantage of cloud computing why let me tell you here so depending on the service le uh, service level agreement that you choose your cloud based application can provide a continuous user experience with no apparent down time even when thing goes wrong so situation is what reliability is like uh, you can trust okay so it is reliable very very reliable for example if i am doing something if my one server is down still my application will be available from other location from other server from backup that is what uh, it is uh, it is meant to say like uh, reliability and reliable so you will not have any downtime that is what mentioned here with no apparent downtime uh, downtime even when thing go wrong for example you have one server here one server here that is the situation of uh, the, uh, i mean functionality of azure basically or cloud computing i should say so if my this server is down still my application will be available from another server or another location so you will not have any downtime that is why we called it reliable or reliability the next one is scalability okay so guys here second advantage is scalability so applications in the cloud can be scaled in two ways while taking advantage of auto scaling so there is a option of auto scaling uh, we can scale we can expand our it infra uh, very easily in this cloud computing so uh, those two uh, you know like uh, like two ways are here one is vertically and second one is horizontally uh, horizontally so if we talk about vertical way so computing uh, like you know computing capacity can be increased by adding ram or cpu to a virtual machine so you see here i'm talking about specifically a uh, ram or cpu of or to a virtual machine okay here we can increase capacity of virtual machine in vertical vertical way i'm talking about scalability here now if i say about horizontally so here computing capacity can be increased by adding instances of a resource such as adding more virtual machine to your configuration okay so here what we can do we can increase by adding ram or cpus to a virtual virtual machine but in horizontal what we can do we can increase capacity by adding instances of a resource such as adding more virtual machine to your configuration for example this is my configuration this is my infra on cloud i need two server only to so i created two virtual machine but instantly i need one more so i can add one more one more server just like same for example this is 4gb ram 
so i need 4 gb and the same configuration like whatever uh, processor i'm using core i5 or like that so i can create one instance of the same virtual machine instantly okay that is the difference here we are adding ram to a virtual machine here we are adding instance only copy of the existing virtual machine i should say and uh, next advantages elasticity elasticity okay so guys here cloud based application can be configured to always have the resource they need very simple next one is agility so what happens here cloud based resources can be deployed and configured quickly as your application requirement uh, requirements change so uh, if uh, for example you have an application here okay this is your app and uh, some changes need to be done on this so very easily you can make it very easy uh, very easily you can deploy those changes okay as per the requirement of your application on cloud on cloud uh, based resources and uh, the next one is uh, geo distribution geo distribution is nothing but it is geographical distribution so what does it mean so guys applications and data can be deployed to regional data centers around the globe so your customers always have the best practice uh, best, uh, best performance in their region so the meaning is let me tell you for example i have this is one this is one this is one and this is another so one two three and four four reasons okay so uh, all I'm, and i'm sitting here i am using this one so for example some data came to this place i'm using this this location this reason so this the instantly whatever i'm doing it is going to a other data center also by in in back end okay so for example if if any customer is coming from this side so he will be able to access your data or whatever application you have deployed from this side only from this uh, uh, reason only he do not need to come or he does not need to come to this reason so he will have quick access okay that is the uh, concept behind this geo distribution or geographical distribution okay it enhances the performance of your uh, application or whatever data you have uh, i should say application only reason wise and that is the concept that is called like uh, you know I should I, in very simple language I should say it it creates one virtual machine I mean virtual copy I should say not virtual machine or backup also so even if this data center is down still you will be able or that customer will be able to access your data or applications whatever it is from other location that is the advantage of using uh, cloud computing or cloud that is also known as like uh, uh, disaster recovery kind of thing next thing here disaster recovery that is what i was talking about so guys by taking advantage of cloud based backup services data application and uh, uh, geo distributions you can deploy your applications with the confidence that comes from knowing that your data is safe in the event that disaster should occur so the situation is very simply uh, Azure or Microsoft will give you 100% not I should not say 100% but it is 99.999% uh, uh, guarantee of disaster recovery in case if your one server is down still your data will be available in case one data center is down still your data will be available that is what called data uh, disaster recovery there will not be any uh, data loss or uh, any downtime kind of things that is only because of data replication and geo distributions so these are the advantages of using cloud computing or cloud technology okay now the next thing is what are cloud service models so guys everything has certain models uh, to be followed so here also we have couple of service models so what it is actually so first of all if you try to understand here what it is uh, like you know cloud computing falls into one of the following cloud models so there are a couple of models here so you can decide as per the requirement and if you have been around cloud computing for a while you have probably seen the term infrastructure as a service okay if you if you trying to learn about from 
youtube or google you will be knowing or you will come to know what is uh, like i double a s and platform as a service and software as a service you will come to know about these things these topics definitely and these are what these are the uh, models and these model define the different level of shared responsibility that a cloud provider and cloud tenant are responsible for so i will be talking about all the responsibilities of a cloud provider and tenant in my coming up video next video will be about this only what are the responsibilities of responsibilities of a cloud provider and tenant okay so this uh, infrastructure as a service will have certain role from uh, uh, cloud provider and certain roles from uh, certain responsibilities from tenant and so so we will be discussing about all three in next video next so guys here i told you uh, there are like you know a couple of models we follow here so the very first one is like uh, you know computing model the first computing model is infrastructure as a service that is also known as iaas okay infrastructure as a service so we will understand about what it is actually so guys this cloud service model is the closest to managing physical server so it is just like you know just not exactly but you can say just like managing physical server at physical site a cloud provider keeps the hardware up to date but operating system maintenance but operating system maintenance and work a uh, network configuration is left to the cloud tenant so let me tell you what is the situation so whatever you need like you need uh, servers and all hardware okay so you can deploy those things from here and uh, the responsibility of managing those server availability of those server will be taken care by cloud provider but the configuration of that machine what username you want to give what system name you want to give what network you want to configure that will be taken care by tenant if i am taking service from cloud cloud provider okay so here it is not maintained or controlled by one party only only uh, they will keep hardware up to date who this cloud provider but the the operating system maintenance and network configuration will be done by tenant very simple i'm talking about infrastructure as a service in this model and the next one for example uh, azure virtual machine are fully operational virtual machine devices running in microsoft data center so if i create a virtual machine here let me log in here this is my account and if i create that virtual machine here so that is running on microsoft data center I will not create any virtual machine here because I don't have any subscription. I'm just showing you here. That's it. So if I create, wait a minute. I'm just trying to make it very clear. Okay, availability of this machine or keeping up to date of this hardware is done by. cloud provider so if i go to virtual machine home here and this virtual machine so i can use this virtual machine and it is maintained well maintained and it is up to date only only from cloud provider side and that is his responsibility but if i want to configure any any network for this any configuration for this by like what should be my machine name what should be username who should be login all those things will be done by me only if i am a tenant okay but that machine will be running at microsoft's data center next guys here an advantage of this cloud service model is rapid deployment of new computer devices so you can deploy as many as uh, virtual machine you want to deploy and setting up new virtual machine is considerably faster than uh, procuring installing and configuring a physical server yes here simply you logged in okay very simple you logged in here and now you can select virtual machine and you can create virtual machine so it will show you like which virtual machine you want to create so i'm not uh, doing anything here because i don't have any uh, 
any subscription as of now so it is telling like uh, what you want like if you if you want to create anything then you will have to start any subscription so i'm already done with this uh, once again i will go to this and uh, create resource here it will show you a couple of things lot, lots of things it will show you like windows virtual machine if you click uh, uh, like see all so it is showing you like if you want to create any virtual machine then even you can select from here okay here uh, let me go to home virtual machine so until i don't create any subscription i won't be able to do anything here i'm just showing you here okay and uh, what will happen on our physical day-to-day -day life first of all we will have to purchase one uh, server and uh, we will have to pay for that then again we will have to install operating system we will have to purchase operating system and then physically we need to configure we need to install this on server room on rack on all so these are the uh, lots of things we need to do at physical level but if we are using cloud service we do not need to record uh, purchase any hardware or install it operating system and install on rack cabling and all we do not need to do anything we just need to pay for it that's it and this is the advantage of this infrastructure as a service model next thing is this is what here i will show you this is a small uh, graphic to make it more clear okay this is my data center physical data center plant it should it can be any plant or any building okay and here we need to make uh, networking firewall security each and everything we need to install physical infrastructure as a service kind of thing i'm talking about and uh, we need to take storage and all but if we are using over cloud so we get all those things inside iass only okay at one point only but at physical we will have to purchase each and everything but here we do not need to purchase anything only we need to pay networking we can configure but if, if we are at physical location we will have to do networking cabling switch router couple of things next one is guys the second computing model is known as platform as a service okay that is, that is known as pass so this cloud service model is managed hosting environment so basically it is a hosting environment basically hosting let me tell you more about it about it what does it mean actually so guys the cloud provider manages the virtual machine and networking resources and the cloud tenant. so this much is done by cloud provider he is managing virtual machine and networking resources and the cloud tenant deploy their application into the managed hosting environment so they will be taking care of networking resources as well as virtual machine but what was happening in previous one let me show you one more time a cloud provider keeps the hardware up to date but operating this uh, operating system maintenance and network will be done by tenant but here what is the role of tenant what tenant will be doing here he will be only deploying their applications but virtual machine and networking will be done by or will be managed by cloud provider okay that is the difference between platform as a service and infrastructure as a service next for example here azure app services provide a managed hosting environment where developer can upload their web applications without having to deal with their physical hardware and software requirement okay so here we do not need to worry about physical hardware and all so whatever developer can uh, uh, whatever they want to develop they can develop and they can upload their web applications so uh, they, they, they don't have to worry about physical hardware and software requirement on Azure app services and this is known as hosting environment basically the next one is guys here this is what I was talking about here again this is your physical infra this is old one on premises so inside this what comes networking servers and storage and operating system will be done by uh, like uh, and uh, all this thing will be taken care by cloud provider we can just deploy our application here very simple okay next one we will move to the next one that is third computing model that is known as software as a service okay what will happen in there 
case in this cloud service model the cloud provider manages all aspects of the application environment such as virtual machine networking resources data storage and applications okay this come under software as a service so let me show you little more here and the cloud tenant only need to provide their data to the application managed by the cloud provider so here we just need to provide data that's it if i am a tenant okay here what and all who uh, cloud service provider is take, uh, managing is managing all aspects like you know uh, application environment such as virtual machine networking resources data storage and even application so what you have to do here only you need to provide data to the application okay and they will be taking uh, they will take care of the rest of part for example office 365 provides a fully working version of ms uh, version of office that runs in the cloud all that you need to do is create your content and office 365 takes care of everything else so this is what guys here only you need to provide what data you want to put on your application all each and everything will be done by cloud provider so guys these are the three uh, computing model what is available or which is available as of now on cloud computing and as per the requirement you can take you can subscribe and uh, use it very simple next we will see here this is what uh, a graphic here okay now it is like uh, uh, let me go back so this is what will be done under software as a service this is again your physical infra okay this is traditional basically networking firewall server storage operating system and deployment tools data management business analytics hosted application apps and all so it comes under software as a service and uh, it is like uh, you can say partially things this is for uh, platform as a service and this is for software as a uh, infrastructure as a service and this is for software as a service and uh, you can see the, the the following illustration demonstrate the services that might run in each of the cloud service models so, so to just make it very clear i just took like this so this is once again infrastructure as a service you will get this much thing and uh, you tenant will have to take care of networking configuration and all this is platform as a service and this one software as a service so guys in this video this much information i thought to discuss with you and if you feel it is informative please do like this video share this video comment on this and subscribe the youtube channel and in next video i will be talking about the further fundamental of cloud computing or azure and uh, and soon uh, very soon i will be uploading uh, the, the next video and i hope you will learn definitely something from this video and guys as always i say take a pen and paper and make a note what you have understood from this video don't just watch this video and listen and uh, whatever you write down that will be your learning i hope you will listen to me and you will understand so i will meet you in next video till then bye bye and uh, thanks for watching for this video.